Welcome back, everybody. Uh, last time we looked at a script that I developed to read in a text file line by line and kind of clean that text that file up a little bit and write new results to another text file. Then I did some conversion of some numbers. Um, they were like reflectance numbers and radiance numbers of a satellite image from scientific notation into decimal. Then I read that file and I split it up into uh, pieces parts and wrote those results into a database file that I would use in ArcGIS or QGIS or whatever GIS package that I'm actually working with. In, in my case for yesterday, it was uh, for ArcGIS. All right, so here's the code uh, that we kind of developed yesterday that I uh, put in the description of the video uh, as well for you to take a look at. But uh, I'm not going to explain this script again, but I'm going to explain how parts of this script uh, read that file to kind of give you an idea of how Python works uh, with splitting out lines in a text file. Okay, then we're going to go to another script that I created that would actually run be it would be part of a script that would run before the script that we created last time okay the thing is is i want my computer to do m all of the pre-processing as much as possible because i don't want to have to do all this stuff every time that i want to do this kind of research I want to reserve my time for doing what I do best, okay? So that's why we're creating these scripts to take care of all that mundane uh, activity, all right? So last time we created this script right here that uh, read in the files and did all the stripping and uh, created some new files and then wrote to our new database file, okay? Now, this script that I put together is going to kind of explain how you can use Python to parse uh, information out of a line of text. All right. Now, here I have uh, a script. I've imported the OS module so I can use system functions. And I've created a variable called images, and I have assigned images the OS list dir uh, method. And what that does is the list dir in this case just reads the contents of a directory or a folder. Okay, that would almost be like reading a line of a text file just the different methods used, okay? Same process, all right? Then in the script, I print images so we can see, we can verify that it has read this directory. Now, this, this whole line right here, this OS list dir with the path, actually creates what is known as a list, okay? Inside that list is going to be every file in that directory, all right, uh, separated by a comma. Now, the print statement puts it on our screen so we can see it, all right. So if I run this file, it's going to read the directory and then print the results. If you look down here, I've ran it once today, okay. And if you look at this line right here, you see it starts with a bracket, and then you see all these file names right here. These are, these are uh, Landsat images in this directory, okay? Now, assuming that 
for every satellite image that I'm working with has the same structure. It always starts with the uh, ANG text file and then it gets into the TIFFs for each band, band one here and, and band two here. Okay, if this, if this order of files is the same, then I can be assured that my script will work the way that I'm telling it to, okay? And 99.9% .9 of the time, uh, this is the structure, once you download an image from uh, the USGS, this is how they come in, all right? Um, they're always, always in the same order. The only difference is the root of the file. Now, this part of the file is always the same. This right here is the path and row of the satellite image. And these are the acquisition and processing dates of the image. Uh, these items right here are always the same. And then the last few characters, it's either going to be a text file or it's going to be a TIFF. All right. Now, what I'm doing here is I print the images, which is this line right here in the results. Okay. And it creates this list. And a list is inside of these square brackets. All right. And so if I go all the way to the right, you'll see that it ends with the square bracket as well. If you remember yesterday, I was talking about a metal file, um, which is the metadata file for the image. This is what the file looks like in real life, not, uh, not that um, my test meta file, okay? This is what the actual Landsat file looks like, all right? And this is what I'm interested in stripping out and cleaning up is this file, right? Okay. But the root of the file is always the same for an image. It's always at least this much. Okay? The ending is different. All right? So what we've done in this, in this script up here is, let's go ahead and run it again so you can see how it runs. I'm going to list, I'm going to run this file and it's going to, pretty quick. All right? So it read that directory and wrote some information. These next lines where I'm uh, creating some new variables, I ba uh, IM base, uh, AC year, month, day, path, and row. These are new variables. And in the var for the variables, I am using this list and I'm using indexes in that list, okay? An index, a list, uh, for every item in a list, it has a number uh, place for the index. Now, indexes, play, indexes start at zero. So the very first thing in the list would be index zero. So this, if you look down here in the results, this ang.txt file is index zero. Then we have this comma, and then we come over here to the next item, which is the TIFF, and this is index one, and then this is index two, all right? So, I am base, or what I'm saying, image base, is equal to the, fir the second location index of the images list. So it's actually looking at this portion of the list, okay? The first is zero, this is index one. And basically what it does, it takes that first index and creates what I call my image base, all right? Now, AC year would be the acquisition year of what I'm interested in. So I read I am base, which is right up here. I read I am base, which is only this index right here, this item in that list. It's the second occurrence 
in the list. But I only want characters from position 17, which is right here, position 17 up to, not including, position 21, which is right here, which is that underscore right here, okay? So you can, you can, um, whoops, I kind of messed that up, didn't I? Um, you can, you can parse a line based on position in an index. And that's what I'm doing here for each one of these uh, variables. So here in Embase, from starting at uh, position 17, up to and not including 21, I'm assigning the, actually it's, I'm sorry, um, it's actually the first four places, it's not up to here, okay? 17 up to 21, which is the 2019, and I'm assigning that to year. Then I'm taking the next two places, right here, the, the 10, and which is position 21 up and two and not including 23 and so for uh, so on and so forth okay so I'm parsing out the index position of each character in this file name and I'm assigning them a variable then the next part is I'm just testing to make sure because the band numbers if you look down here this if statement if you look down to this B1, okay, that's band one. But in my file, I have a band 10 and an 11, okay, and it just adds the digit. It doesn't pad a zero in front of the uh, single digit numbers. So this changes to an extra, di an extra digit or an extra character when it gets to band 10 and 11. So basically this line right here is I'm testing if position 43 happens to be a period, which it is in this particular case, then my, I, my band number is only one character long. And, so, and then print me out single digit band. But if, for, if position 43, I mean, yeah, 42 is not a period, that means band 10 is in place or band 11 is in place, and I have a double digit and I need some extra space, I want um, more characters for this particular uh, band, band number, right? And then the last portion is I am just printing out all the things that I called or created in this list. Uh, I want the base number. I want to put this in words that I can understand. I want to make my acquisition. This is text. And then the variables uh, with a slash. Here in the United States, we do month, day, year, okay? Uh, everybody else in the world probably does um, day month year. We do month day year. All right, and that's what it is printing out in the last line of this of this code right here. It takes the base acquired on a certain date. I've just flipped some of these around to make them easier to read and specified out that it's uh, path 46, row 28, and then this is band number one, which reads this last character in. All right, so that's what, so that's what um, parsing out a line in a text file can do for you. You can rearrange your information out of a line of text and make it more uh, user friendly to read, okay? So, the next video, we're going to add in another step to our previously made uh, script. So, be sure to watch that video coming up next. We'll see you guys later.